I'm going into London and I'm literally going to Nadia's and then tomorrow I'm gonna wear this and come home. So I don't need to look fancy. So this is my outfit. Super simple and probably like a variation of things I wear all the time. So I've got my Zara coat, which I literally cannot take off at the minute. My Anina Bing um, like knitted vest because it's actually quite warm outside so I didn't really want to wear a bulky knit. And then I've got these jeans on from H&M that I love. They're like a cream straight leg jean and I've just cropped the bottom off, just literally cut the hem off. Um, so they fit me a bit better. Got my Uggs on because comfort is key and I literally just want to be as cosy as I can to sit on the train. Go to Nadia's, get glam for tonight, and then come home tomorrow. So, my makeup is looking quite nice. It's nice and glowy. My hair is a bit of a mess because I've just been tidying up. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna jump in the car, drive to the station, and get on my way. Oh my God, I literally made it onto the train within one minute spare. I walked across the bridge and walked to the end and the train arrived. Phew, um, that was, that was intense. I thought I was gonna have to, miss it and get the next one which is like 45 minutes time <laughs> there's only two trains an hour so um if you miss it you've got to wait for ages but on the train it's all fine um i was late because the drive was so slow it's like a national speed limit road and someone was literally going 30 miles an hour and i could not go any faster but i'm here now i couldn't even print out my train tickets i always book them in advance so i've got them on my phone but i didn't have time to print them out so i'm hoping the other end they will be fine with me um, I always get worried about that. And I've just booked my parking on my phone quickly. So yes, now to sit down and relax for an hour during this train journey. But I've just realized I forgot to bring my headphones. So that's really annoying. I've got two journeys there and back with no headphones. But oh well, I will be there soon. Okay, we are now at, I haven't vlogged for ages, but we're now in the toilet. <laughs> no, we're now at the In a very glamorous location at George's event. Look how gorgeous my girlies look. Aww. <laughs> we look really far away. <laughs> I just remembered to start the vlog now, so I will continue the vlog from now onwards, but we're at the most amazing restaurant. I'll write it down below in case you want to come, but it's unreal. Hey, but look, look at the, the woman montage. the woman of the hour. Show us your outfit, that was me. In the zebra. There she goes. Oh yeah. The, the shoes. The Prada. Unreal. The, the saving, shoes. I was saving them for a special occasion and that's okay. Um, that's today. Wow. Today is definitely a special occasion. I, oh my god, they're high. Oh yeah. They're a platform which I've never worked, but I got them from an outlet. They were meant to be 940, I got them for 320. <gasps> So That's a chunky heel though. So I couldn't say no. So I was like, where the fuck am I gonna wear these to? Tonight. Tonight. Tonight is the night. Tonight. They are stunning. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thursday today and I'm finally home it's 10 to 12 I've actually got a call in 10 minutes I made it home just in time honestly I left Nadia's this morning at half eight and it's taken me that long to get home um but yes I am home I am absolutely boiling because it's 22 degrees it said in my car and I've been wearing a coat and a hat all day and I'm so hot 
So I am just about to jump on my call with Amy. Last night was absolutely incredible. I had the best night ever. I did wake up feeling a little bit bleary eyed. We went to sleep. I probably fell asleep at by 1 a.m. So it was quite a late one, but so worth it. I had the best night. The girls are just incredible. I don't even think I vlogged that much because we were just like chatting and catching up and everything all night, but it was so good. So today I have got a lot of cleaning to do. The apartment is a mess. There is literally stuff everywhere and I just need it to be show home ready for the girls to come over tomorrow. So I wanna try and do as much as I can today and get a super early night. I'm gonna do like a really nice evening routine tonight. Get a nice early night ready for tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. So yes, I'm gonna jump on my call and chat business for a good half an hour. And then open all the windows, let some air in and get cleaning and tidying. I picked up a parcel yesterday from my mum's. It got sent to our old house, so they forwarded it onto her. And it was from Hourglass, which is so exciting. Um, this is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, which honestly, I love the foundation sticks. So I am so excited to use these. They've sent me a few different shades um, to try. So I've got a few here. I'm gonna test this out tomorrow. And then they've also sent me a brush. Oh my God, I've got the shakes. <laughs> I always get that the next day after I've drunk wine. Yeah, they've also sent me the brush, which is so amazing because I really need a new foundation brush. It's available in 32 shades, 16 hour wear, blue light protection, non-comedogenic, which is amazing. If you've got kind of like acne prone skin, non-comedogenic um, products are the best for you. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this. So thank you so much to Monty PR for sending me this. Good morning, everyone. I am back again with the horrendous angles um, for my camera because I still don't have a tripod. I really need to get one. I don't. <laughs> I really need to get a tripod for my camera because these car chats are not going very well if they're like this because you literally cannot see me. Um, but I am just on my way to Waitrose. It's Friday today and it is currently 10 to 10. I got up, did all the beds, did all the cleaning that I had left and um, washed my hair and like done my makeup and everything. So I'm all ready. So when I get back, I can actually get loads of work done before the girls come. That's why I wanted to go to the shop early this morning just to get it out of the way and I've got everything then. So yes, I'm going to Waitrose. I'm gonna pick up all the food for tonight. I think we're, we're well, we're gonna have like picky cheese board vibes because it's just a bit easier than making like a whole um, dinner. Where are you going? Yeah, so I'm getting crackers, cheese, smoked salmon, maybe like parma ham, um, olives, crisps, hummus, and vegetables, like just all of that stuff. So I'm very excited. I need to get a new chutney, actually. I can't forget that. So yeah, I've got all my rosé in the fridge overnight. It's nice and cold. So I'm all ready to host. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Hosting is like my thing, I feel. Like... I haven't been able to host um, any of the girls because I haven't had a car, so around here you can't get anywhere. Like, they could get the train here, but then they literally won't be able to get here, so. Oh my God, it's so busy again. Every Friday it's so busy. Last Friday when I did the car chats, it was rammed. So yes, I will chat to you when I'm back home and show you my loot from Waitrose. So I'm back home, I got my car cleaned. It's lovely and sparkly and clean. They are so nice at the car wash. It's like in the car park of Waitrose and they are just so lovely. So I'm very pleased about that. My car's all nice to go and pick up the girls. It needed cleaning so badly because the rain and the wind has made it like thick with dust and the country roads and stuff just make it so muddy. So I'm very pleased about that. So anyway, I'm going to show you what bits I picked up for tonight. I got three huge bags and they are so heavy. This is like the time where I think oh, I wish Jack was here so he could just carry these. <laughs> so heavy. So I'm gonna get it all out and then I'll show you some bits that I got. Crisps, these two are my faves. These ones, oh my god, are so nice and everyone loves pop chips. For dessert, I got us a cheesecake because I'm thinking all the girls will like that. It's salted caramel and honeycomb and it looks really nice so I'm gonna pretend that I made that. I got some smoked salmon and some like um, cured meats as well. Orange juice for the morning in case the girls want orange juice. And I know a lot of them drink oat milk so I got some oat milk for coffees if they want coffee. 
I got some more biscuits for the biscuit tin. Gold bars, which are literally my favourite snack in the world. Cars crackers. These are the black pepper ones. I love these. And then I got some Peter's Yard sourdough flatbreads, which are seeded. And these are really good to dip in like hummus and tzatziki and stuff like that. Mozzarella. Peppers to cut up for the hummus. Nocellara olives are the best olives in the world. Big tomatoes for the mozzarella tomato. Is that called caprese? Caprese? I don't know. Loads of cheese. So I got a strong rosette brie. Hummus. I got a normal brie. Tzatziki. I then got another chutney. We've actually already got one and it's pear and something I think. But this is fig and balsamic and I thought that sounded really nice. I also got this which is a roasted sweet potato and feta pie and you can serve this cold or hot. But I just thought like when I was looking at it in the trolley I was thinking this isn't much food. Like this is very picky and if the girls are still hungry I need something like substantial so I thought I'd get this. I got a sourdough loaf for olive oil and like butter and the last cheese I got was Manchego Strength 5 which is also another favourite of mine. I got some flowers. Now I really wish I had a really good local florist near me just go to Waitrose but they have these roses and I thought they were so pretty because I kind of wanted to do like pink, pale pink vibes so it's a bit prettier than my normal white and oh my god can you see how pretty these are they're huge so i got these they were only 12 pounds which i think is really good so yeah that is my haul i'm gonna put this all away and i'm not gonna like start preparing anything until later because it'll just go weird so yeah i'm pretty much all done and dusted and oh i forgot to get cling film damn it that's really annoying well, I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to start arranging my table. Okay, I've unwrapped all of the flowers. How unbelievably beautiful do these look? Oh my goodness. I'm really pleased that I chose these. everyone i haven't vlogged for a while it's sunday today and jack is home from his work trip and we are just starting to put the frame on the canvas jack has just cut all the pieces of wood that we picked up the other day and now we are putting it together which is so exciting i actually do have a wood stain that i'm going to put um onto the wood so that it's not so light and bright um, but let me show you how it looks. Oh my god, I actually quite like the colour. Um, so we've done, instead of having the wood like this way around, so it's like the flatter side, which pretty much like levels up to the frame, we decided it looks better to have um, the frame overlapping a little bit. So you can see here that um, there's like a little bit of overlap which looks really nice. I think it just looks a bit more finished and I don't know, I just feel like it looks a bit more proper. So yeah, all the wood is cut, we just need to attach these and then I need to um, stain the wood. I got a wood stain um, which is kind of like a dark brown. So I think it's gonna match really nicely with this but not blend in too much because it won't be as dark as this and it will still have obviously the wood effect. But I do quite like the lighter frame. Um, I do think that looks quite nice. Maybe if it was just a couple of shades darker. So yeah, I'm very, very excited and pleased to have a proper frame on this because I feel like it just makes it look so much better. It just looks completely finished. Um, I've had loads of questions on how I do this frame and I have actually done a real, not the frame, sorry, the canvas. Um, I did actually do a reel showing you the canvas and in the caption of the reel I've put kind of all the things I use and like a step-by-step -step guide. So I'll link that reel down below in case you want to do your own polyfiller canvas but yeah i absolutely love it okay so i've got my oh my god I'm naked in the back i've got my setup i've got some newspaper my wood and this is the wood stain that i'm going to use it's actually an oil um it's jacobean dark oak we got this from b&q so it says to just use a cloth um 
to apply it. So I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, I've already had a look at this. I must have done it. I've already used it. I tested it out. <gasps> I feel like I need to show you what this looks like. Sorry, I'm literally doing this one handed. That is perfect. It's like not too dark. So here's a side by side comparison. This is the one without any oil and this is with oil. So it just makes it a little bit darker and a bit warmer. Okay, we are just about to go for a walk to the pub. My camera's like flipped the screen upside down because I'm resting it and I can't tell what you can see. So I hope you can see me. Um, I'm just putting my socks on. We are gonna walk into town and go to the pub for a roast, which I'm really excited about. It's 20 past two. So we're gonna have a nice early dinner slash late lunch and just sit in the pub all nice and cozy. And then when we get back, I'm gonna finish off my canvas. So I will update you when we're back. Okay, this is my outfit for the pub. Just nice and cozy. And I thought I'd wear my trench coat just in case it rains, but I don't think it will. So I've got this knit, which is really, really old. I think this is from Naked. But H&M um, have got a really similar one, same colour, so I'll link it below. Then my trench coat is from Mango. Leggings, I've just got my Adenola leggings on just because they're so comfortable. And then my knee-high boots, which are years old from Zara. And I saw some similar ones online, so I will link them below. I think they were H&M. And then I've just got my Chloe mini sea bag, just crossbody. Nice and simple and easy. I'm so excited for a roast. So we are just going to head out. I don't know how cold it is, but I'm really hot in here. So oh, I feel like I'm melting. But yeah, I will see you when we get there. Okay, we are just at the Woolpack, which is our local pub. It's so nice in here. It's really cozy. We're starting with a camembert, and then we have both ordered a lamb roast, which is delicious. And we have a little view of the church. It is so cute in here. I've got a glass of rosé. Jack's just looking at the wine lists. Fun fact, we actually live, pass me now. If any of you know, um, Balfour Wines. We live literally where the Hush Heath estate is. So yeah, if any of you know what that is, that is where we live. Good morning everyone. It is Monday today. I'm gonna put you down somewhere. It is currently 11.30 on Monday morning. I'm in an amazing mood today. I got up at 6 a.m. and the sun was just coming through, which was amazing. I did a Pilates class, which I'm so pleased about because I'm really trying to get back into my morning Pilates routine. I've got ready and I am now just about to start shooting some content for a client that I need to send off today. So I'm gonna finish that off and get that sent over for approval. I curled my hair with the GHD um, straightener again today. I don't know how this bow is looking because I've literally just chucked it in my hair, but um, I love wearing my hair like this because it just makes it off my face. It's so easy, but it looks quite nice. I also have used the Hourglass foundation today. I used it yesterday as well and I'm so in love with it, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna link it down below. Um, it's a really nice coverage, but it's not heavy. I used a tiny amount and just really blended it into my skin and I'm so pleased with it. All I'm wearing is um, the foundation and blush and that's all I've got on my skin and I couldn't be happier. So I will link that below. I wear the shade 6.5 for reference and I think it is a really really nice shade it matches my kind of like natural skin color really nicely so i'm gonna get on with shooting this content so i can then sit down and edit and get it all sent off then i need to go to waitrose and do the food shop for the week i want to get some really nice fish and salad and vegetables and just make some really good meals this week Hello everyone. 
everyone. Okay, we have arrived in the Cotswolds. We are staying in literally the most beautiful house. Um, obviously, I'm with you. Hi. <laughs> How Christmassy is this? This just makes me want a house so that I can decorate it. Okay, I am ready for dinner. I'm wearing this Nadine Marabi suit, white suit with feathers. And then also the feathers on the trousers. I absolutely love this suit so much, it's so comfy. I feel like it's you in the suit. George is in her sparkly Christmas. set. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas dinner, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like our outfits really match. I know, they are, they complement. The sequins and the feathers. Compliment, yeah. That's, that's the right word. I feel like oh, me and you like. My hair. We're yeah. having a um, we're typical having a, girl. Yeah. I hate the word up day. Yeah. <laughs> also, I feel like there's lighting. Yeah. It's not. Freezing out here. Oh, not me moaning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are on our way to dinner.